This is the food bank in Ipswich. But these volunteers are dealing with a third world problem right here in Suffolk. In just two years, the annual demand for food parcels in Ipswich has risen from 550 to a staggering 3,000, and it grows daily. Donations of food and money are obviously so vital to the food bank. If we don't have the food on the shelves, we can't pack the parcels. And if we don't have the money in the bank, we can't purchase food. There are so many generous people around. The businesses, the schools, the churches, the individuals who actually give donations of food, but it's never enough. Hundreds and hundreds of packets and cans of food go out every week. And it's a concern that this has to be maintained day after day, week after week. So we need more help. People are referred to the charity through a multi-agency vetting system to ensure that every case is legitimate. The recipients are not scroungers, nor are they work shy. The food bank relies entirely on donations of food and money from other charities and the local community. And we could all do more. Having volunteers, good non-judgmental volunteers, is so vital. I have people from all walks of life. I've got the businessman and I've got the person who has had help from FIND who want to come on board. They take out the food parcels or else they pack the food parcels. Without them, it just wouldn't work. Yeah, the food bank have been absolutely amazing. They're such a supportive group um, and it has been the difference between me and my children eating or not eating. Um, just the government cuts that they've done, the bedroom tax and everything like that, it just means that money is really, really stretched. And when you get um, things that pop up, like the children need new shoes, you have to get them for them. And it's a choice between shoes or, or food. And without the food bank, it would have been no food. If you'd like to help by contributing a donation, no matter how small, it would make a big difference to someone in desperate need. Please call Maureen Raynell on 01473 833351